Evet. Ya şu oktarların yaptığı faaliyetleri sen bize, bana bir de anlatsana. Buraya çünkü bana arkadaşlar birkaç kişi yazmış. Görmek istiyoruz değil mi? Evet. Var mı onların filmleri? Welcome back to Holy Land Uncovered. I'm Tal Henrik and our next discussion is one that can only take place in the Holy Land. Have you ever heard about initiatives to build the third temple in Jerusalem? Well, even if you might have heard, such an initiative still might really surprise you. How about Turkish Muslims promoting the third temple project along with Jewish Orthodox rabbis? Meet the doctors Oktar Babuna and Jihad Gundudu. They came here from Turkey. Thank you so much and welcome to Israel. And Yehuda Glik, Likud member of uh, Knesset, will also join us shortly. Oh, here he is. Thank you so much, Yehuda, for being with us as well. Um, so the Temple Mount is one of the biggest flashpoint sites in the region. It often ignites very violent, you know, clashes. Uh, and your message here is holy sites, I'm reading it, should be centers of reconciliation and not conflict. Beautiful people are living in this country. It's a unique place. It is sacred both for Jews, for Muslims and for Christians. And that makes it prone to many uh, center of uh, conflicts and violences. But this is no benefit for anybody. It's a prayer house where God's name is will be mentioned. And it has to be revealed for people, uh, all the nations to pray there as stated in the Ishaya. All nations, God says, will be praying there together, shoulder to shoulder, to serve God. These are statements from the Torah. Yehuda Glik, um, you're joining us. Oh, oh, he will be with us in just a sec. Here. Yehuda, so um, you met with uh, the two doctors sitting with me here in the studio. Were you surprised by this initiative? Yes, I am. I'm actually in a very long-term connection with uh, uh, Dr. Oktar and Dr. Uh, Babuna, and I think that uh, they're doing wonderful activity. They're led by uh, a, a very special leader from uh, Turkey, Adnan Oktar. And I think that uh, it shouldn't surprise us because people who believe in God know that God is inclusive and not exclusive. And he wants us all to join together and turn the Temple Mount into a house of prayer for all nations. And I think that uh, I am sure that we're in the beginning of, an, of an, a biblical era where more and more religious leaders from around the world will join this wonderful initiative of turning the Temple Mount to a place where it should be a world center for peace and calling in the name of the one and only God. You know, you mentioned you're both representative of Turkish Muslim intellectual and spiritual leader Adnan Oktar. He wrote this book um, along with yes. many others, Islam Denounces Terrorism. You know what's interesting? We're used to seeing religion as a problem and not as a solution. And here you are speaking about the third temple as a, a holy site to three religions. Well, there is a real religion, which is from the Quran. God says Quran is sufficient. And uh, God tells us to be living peace with love and mercy against all other people. That there is no oppression. There is no compulsion in religion. And there is a false religion, actually, which is superstitions, traditions, and fabricated hadith. Hadiths are saying of the Prophet. And they, that were generated, they were generated 200 years after he passed away. So being against modernity, being against uh, arts, science, and aesthetics, and the oppression of the woman, or uh, hatred against Jews, which is uh, called, of course, semi- uh, This is not Islam. Anti, uh, yeah, anti-Semitism. This is not Islam. It is unlawful according to Islam. And what we're seeing here is image, are images of the future temple, third temple mount. Um, that is very interesting, but I have to ask, is it doable? Is it not a fantasy? It because, you know, with so many mm -hmm. regulations, uh, objections, and funding, of course. With love and discussion, it is very, very doable. Actually, it's a promise of the God. As we have uh, uh, read the statements from the Torah, we will pray there all together. It's a prayer house of God. There is no, uh, uh, for, uh, there is nothing can stop that. In the, we are living in very specific times, and with this pure gold carvings, and with original form, it will be rebuilt for, as a prayer house for all the nations shoulder to shoulder. It's doable because we can discuss that. First of all, we should know it's not gonna damage either the uh, Dome of the Rock or Mescid al-Aqsa. There's enough land, and this will be a prayer house for Jews, Christians, and the Muslims. Evet. Aferin, Oktarlar, Cihat Hoca. Başka var mı o ziyarete ilgili evet, resimler? Evet, bilgi ve resimler vardı. İbrani ve Bar İlan Üniversitelerinde İslam'ın Musevileri bakış açısıyla ilgili konferans verdiler arkadaşlarımız. Kur'an'da kitap ehli. İslam'da barış, adalet, özgürlük gibi kavramlar, radikalizm ve terörle fikri mücadelenin önemi gibi konuları 
Kur'an ve Tevrat'tan, Tevrat'tan delillerle anlattılar. Konferans sonunda öğrencilerin İslam hakkında yanlış bilinen konularla ilgili sorularını yanıtladılar. Ayrıca bunun yanı sıra EYL TV ve İ24 News televizyonlarında röportaj verdiler, resimler. Likud Partisi'nden milletvekili Sharon Haskell, Likud Partisi'nden milletvekili Haham Yehuda Galik, Yeş Atit Partisi'nden milletvekili eski tüm general Elezer Şiten, bu görüşmede başka milletvekilleri de bulunmuş ayrıca. Uluslararası basında sıkça görüşlerine yer verilen Haham Yişay Fleischer ve Haham Yehuda Gülik ile İsrail Meclisi'ndeki görüşmeden resimler var. El Halil Hebron şehrini Musevi sözcüsü Noam Armon. İsrail Meclisi'nde toplantıdan resimler Moşe Dayan Merkezi'nden Orta Doğu uzmanı Profesör Şimon Şemir ile birlikte. Kendisi aynı zamanda eski Büyükelçi ve Tel Aviv Üniversitesi'nde akademisyen. Bar İlan Üniversitesi'nin Fizik Bölüm Başkanı Profesör Nehtin Aviyezer ile. Kendisi Ortodoks, Musevi, Tevrat ve bilimin uyumunu gösteren çalışmaları var aynı zamanda. Eski milletvekili, yazar, akademisyen Doktor Aynat Wilf. Kendisinin çeşitli düşünce kuruluşlarında kıdemli üyeliği bulunuyor. Eskiden Şimon Perez'e dış politika danışmanlığı yapmış. Haham David Rosen. Eski İrlanda başahımı Haham Başılığa diğer dinlerle ilişkilerinde danışmanlık yapıyor Haham Rosen. Ayrıca Amerikan Musevi Komitesi'nin diğer dinlerle ilişkilerinden de sorumlu direktörü. Ee, Oktarlı Cihat Mitfim Enstitüsü'nün İbrahim Üniversitesi'ndeki konferansına da davetliydiler. Üst düzey politikacıların katıldığı konferansta İsrail'e yeni atanan Türk Büyükelçi Sayın Kemal Ökem ile de görüştüler. İsrail'in İngilizce yayın yapan İ24 News televizyondaki kutsal topraklarla ilgili bir programa konuk oldular. Burada sizin hazırlattığınız üç boyutlu tapınak modeliyle ilgili açıklamalarda bulundular. Resimde program sunucusu Tal Hayrih ile birlikte görülüyorlar. İsrail'in tanınmış politika analizcilerinden Steve Leibovitz, Oktar ve Cihat'la EYL TV için röportaj yaptı. Arkadaşlarımız İsrail-Türkiye ilişkilerinin gelişmesi için yaptığınız çalışmaları anlattılar bu röportajda. İsrail'in İbranice yayınlanan Yediot Ahranot gazetesinden Yifat Erli ve Haham Yehuda Gülik'le meclisteki görüşmelerinden bir resim. İsrail'in İbranice gazetesi Makor Rishon temsilcisi Asaf Gibor'la Bar İlan Üniversitesi'ndeki dersten görüntüler, barış, din ve kültür üzerine ders veren Doktor Ben Molov'un sınıfına katıldılar. Ayrıca İbrahim Üniversitesi öğrencilerine verdikleri konferanstan görüntüler var. Organizasyonu yapan Ortodoks Musefi Jeff Seidel ile görülüyorlar. Organizasyonu yapan Ortodoks Musefi Jeff Seidel. Ayrıca Oktar ve Cihat Soykırım Alma Merkezi'ne davetliydiler. Buradaki rehber bayan yaptığınız çalışmalardan çok duygulandığını ifade ederek ziyaretimizden onur duyduğunu söylemiş. Aferin maşallah. E, mazlum insanı severiz. Hainse, zalimse sevmeyiz. Musevi'nin de zalimi var, haini var ama masumlara her zaman dostuz. Her zaman sevgiyle, şefkatle, dostlukla, kardeşlikle yaklaşırız. Bir de e, Eyal TV'de vardı röportajları. Evet, görebiliriz. Now, a movement in Turkey led by in the influential author, lecturer, and television station owner Adnan Oktar is trying to improve those ties. A small delegation of Oktar's followers are currently in Israel, where they're holding meetings to advance the defense of Israel while promoting Muslim-Jewish cooperation to fight anti-Semitism, radicalism, and terrorism. ILTV's Steve Leibowitz met with Dr. Oktar Babuna, who said that as a devout Muslim, his group is trying to promote Islam as a peaceful religion. Our relationship must got a lot better than before. 
because Israel is very, very important in the region. Alongside Muslims, Christians, we can live in peace in the Holy Land. Unbelievers also, all together we can. And we will definitely will exist until the hereafter. This is from the Quran, Islamic religion. Mr. Adonatar and us are trying to spread these views based on the solid evidences from the Islamic religion in the entire world. I think your message is very well received here in Israel. Israel would like to have closer alliances, strategic alliances uh, with um, Turkey. How is your message received by your own government? Uh, actually, it is received well and better. Uh, as once, as you might remember, there was a uh, from the governmental level, there was a uh, statement against uh, Zionism, anti-Zionist. It's like a crime of humanity. Mr. Adonokta requested that uh, if Zionism is the right of the Jewish people, the children of Israel, to live in exist in Israel as an independent state, to live in this land where their forefathers lived and they were buried actually, this right is given in the Quran. So you cannot be against that if you're a Muslim. And uh, there was uh, another statement came, again at the governmental level, stating that uh, we will not utter any more words against our Israeli brothers, they said, at the governmental level. So they corrected this anti-Zionist statement right after Mr. Adonakta requested in three days. That was uh, actually corrected. Okay. Thank you so much for being with us at ILTV. I am very pleased and honored. And again, my shalom to the entire Israeli nation. Bayağı güzel insanlar. Evet. Zalimine karşıyım. Zalimine karşıyım.